The MIDAS project is essentially involves you know attacking the problem of how this influenza gets transmitted from you know from one person to another. My involvement is essentially in the mathematical modeling of you know how do people um, understand or react to influenza. Most of the stuff that we see in the media, etc., including in genetic research and so on, uh, there's a whole bunch of mathematics that's going on in the background, but you never see that in the in, in the forefront. Understandably so, because the average person doesn't want to know about those things, and they just want to see the results. There are two sort of major themes going on here. One is it involves biochemical, biophysical aspects of research. So that in, essentially would translate into pharmaceutical intervention, if you would. So understanding the influenza and then coming up with pharmaceutical interventions is one aspect of the research. The non-pharmaceutical ones would, interventions would be things like educating the public, um, you know, understanding how they think of influenza, you know, what are, the, uh, what are the main factors that causes them to think that they might come in contact with people that have influenza. So understanding that aspect and then educating the public is a second feature of this proposed study. And so both of them require, you know, heavy mathematical tools to try and gather data, analyze the data, and then inform the public. I think it's a very natural thing to apply whatever your skill set is to a broad range of applications. Uh, it also brings the university in, as a whole into the picture, which is, I think, a great thing to do, you know, because UT has such diverse talents across campus, and it would be criminal not to take advantage of that kind of talent. And, you know, you learn a lot when you're working with colleagues in other groups, and that carries through into my classroom lectures, you know, when I'm talking to business students, they see the practical implications of doing sound pharmaceutical research, for example. Because, you know, the business consequences of doing sound pharmaceutical research is huge. I think it's at least as important as, you know, figuring out how many iPods people change you know, in a given month or a given year or whatever. So, so I think it's important that we do this kind of research, even though you're you know, on the faculty in a business school.